yo it's like ever since vince came back things have just been in a disarray for wwe well at least behind the scenes and uh it's it's like chaos we are literally at the beginning of the year vince coming back has caused so much chaos in wwe that is insane i just got the news that stephanie mcmahon just stepped down as co-ceo and chairwoman of the board we got to get right into this she made a tweet herself so we're gonna check this out man um once again these type of videos I don't really do a traditional intro because it's just it's kind of you know you want to kind of get straight to the point this is truly insane the power of vince mcmahon coming back to wwe has caused so much so much chaos so we're gonna check this out on stephanie mcmahon's official twitter dear wwe universe about eight months ago i took a leave of absence within a few weeks unexpectedly had the opportunity of a lifetime I had the privilege to return as the co-CEO and chairwoman of the board of WWE. I cannot put into words how proud I am to have led what I consider to be the greatest company in the world, working alongside a remarkable leadership team and one of the strongest executives I have known in my co-CEO, Nick Khan. Our founder, Vince McMahon, has returned as executive chair and is leading an ex exciting process regarding strategic alternatives. And with Nick's leadership and uh, Paul Triple H uh, Levesque as uh, chief content officer, I am confident WWE is in the perfect place to continue to provide unparalleled creative content and drive maximum value for shareholders. WWE is, is, is in such a strong position that I have decided to return to my leave and take it one step further with my official resignation. I look forward to cheering on WWE from the other side of the business where I started when I was a little kid. As a pure fan, I will always remain dedicated to WWE. I truly love our company, our employees, our superstars, and our fans, and I am grateful to all of our partners. Thanks for uh thank you for everything then now forever forever together steph and um uh, that was pretty much what she said on the tweet then now forever together it's like a goddamn like a uh a, a, a saying that they have to say then now forever together you know this is it's actually kind of sound creepy when they all say it like it's kind of creepy and then uh we're gonna check out wrestle ops and as you can see right here um Okay. And as of right now, uh, Nick Khan is the sole CEO of WWE. This is uh, um, per Russell Ops. And they also have WWE has just announced that the board has unanimously decided to proclaim Vince McMahon as the new executive chairman of the board. Boy, I, I don't even know what to say other than who else is next? Who else is next? to leave from WWE in an executive position. Now, I did hear, see some rumors that apparently there's another lawsuit coming at Vince McMahon. I'm not sure the exact details on it, but I believe there's another lawsuit brewing that they're trying to uh, um, aim at Vince McMahon dealing with a violating some, some type of policy or something like that. So if you guys have better detail on it, let me know. But I have been seeing that on Twitter earlier today. That was before Stephanie said, hey, I'm chunking up the deuce. This is, oh man, bro. This is insane. I'm hoping <laughs> that it's, it's one of these type of situations where, you know, Triple H still keeps his job as uh you know um the the, the the guy that's in in control of creative i hope that is still a thing i would definitely be uh saddened to hear in the next couple of days or next week oh triple h just stepped down as head of creative good god almighty please no he's he's our last hope Jeez. this is really wild it it's like once he came back everything just went it just it just went out the window just uh screw it all right vince is back it's time for us to get the hell up out of here man and of course um i think a lot of people are 
um, in the under the impression that Vince is really only back to uh, pretty much sell the company. But I don't know, man. Like I said in that video, I would not be surprised if Vince McMahon does get his creative control back. Like, I mean, he owns majority shares of the company. I would really be surprised if that did not happen at some point. I hope it doesn't. I hope Triple H is still the guy in charge. But who knows? Maybe Triple H may be the guy in charge, but Vince still has some type of pull to be like, hey, you should put this on the television. You should do this. Granted, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure the inner workings behind the scenes. But as of right now, Triple H is the last man standing. <laughs> Dang, man. The last man standing is Triple H to hold down the fort. And uh, we will see how things play out in the upcoming days and weeks. But uh, Vince McMahon has made it very clear. I'm back. <laughs> so comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys just as shocked as I am that Stephanie McMahon has stepped away from WWE? Or are you, or were you guys kind of like, I guess you can say, expecting this? And are you expecting anybody else to step away? Do you guys think Triple H will still be head of creative going forward? Or do you think he will ultimately step down as well? Let me know down below. This is a very interesting time in WWE. It's a lot going on, a lot of uncertainty. And we're going to figure out what the hell is going to be the future of WWE right now. Because in my opinion, I think they're making strides in the right direction. And I don't want the backstage stuff to really be too much of the distraction of pretty much WrestleMania season. Because it's right here. We're right upon it. And I hope things can continue to go in the upward traje uh, trajectory. Uh, I think I said that right. If I didn't, who cares? Uh, I hope it, hopefully things can keep going forward. And we will see how things uh, play out. But I appreciate all the love and support. And I am still... Your unspeeded YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one.